Well, in a year where you can't really depend on much of anything, there is one thing that's held true. The Edgar Wildcats are really good at football. The top ranked team in Division 7 on the road against Portage tonight. Edgar sitting comfortable with a 41 point lead at halftime. The opening kickoff of the second half. Edgar actually will fumble the ball. Portage jumps on it, but they fumble it the next play themselves. So ball back in the hands of Edgar and this team can run the football. Austin Dalkey with the nice gain back up the middle. Later the drive capped off in the end zone. Lucas Mueller does the honors. No shortage of offense tonight for Edgar. They win 62 zip. The 4-0 Iola Scandinavia Thunderbirds at home against Almond Bancroft. Second quarter, Almond Bancroft down 27. Trying to make something happen. Quarterback Daniel Baumgartner throws it to his receiver, but it's incomplete at the 10. Thunderbirds ball now. Parky Prawl won't see an opening, so he scrambles right and finds Kyle Heiss for the touchdown. Just a minute before half now, and Bry Hartle is doing his thing. Shakes off two defenders, and he's gone. 66-yard touchdown just before the half. Iola Scan goes up 41. They go on to win big in this one. And finally, time for our game of the week. Fifth-ranked DC Everest hosting fourth-ranked Kakana Evergreens. First drive, Bo Svoke rolling out but commits the QB. Cardinal Sin throws back across his body. Casey Lancour is there to make him pay. A few plays later, Gannon Demler cashes in the turnover for points. Short pass for the score. Now after another Evergreens turnover and galloping ghost field goal, disaster strikes again. There's mishandle on the punt and it's a turnover on downs. One play later, Hank Hoffman plunges in for another Kakana score. Now for as bad as things started though, Everest still in the ball game to start the second half, but a Demler to Logan fit to strike all but ends their hopes of a comeback. Galloping ghost ride to a big 32 nothing win. Let's send it out to Alex Stewart now to see what happened. Hey Alex. Hey Brad. Well, the story of this one was that the Evergreens dug themselves into a hole early and they could never quite dig themselves out of it. Everest made three costly mistakes early in the first quarter on offense that a strong defensive effort managed to mitigate into just 15 points. But despite the defensive stand, the offense was still unable to move the ball, and eventually the Evergreens defense was chopped down by the Galloping Ghosts. However, it's not all bad, though. After the game, Coach Stralo said that with the right attitude, this loss could be a positive thing. Uncharacteristic of us. I guess I don't. I, didn't, I haven't seen us do that before, so we're going to have to go back to the film work, and we're going to have to learn from that. And I just told the kids the same thing. I said, this is going to be great learning. If, we, if they have the right attitude, and we watch the film and they're t they can take coaching, we're going to learn from this. So hopefully we can learn from it and we can uh, watch the film and, and correct it by next week. However, as we've learned this year, next week is never guaranteed. And as of right now, the Evergreens do not have an opponent on the schedule. But as for this week, signing off from our Game of the Week from Week 5 at DC Everest, I'm Alex Stewart, News 9 Sports.